They call them OGs, old gangsters, veteran street fighters with lifelong affiliations to the gangs of South LA. But what sets these old boys of LA lawlessness apart is their nationality. Peter Madness at the wheel and Mr. Lama are someone. Come here, LA. In their gangster mobile, the OGs cruise the suburb of Carson, where bravado is all important. Even the hydraulic suspension is rigged to impress. But for these high rollers, life can be short. <laughs> Eddie Toimalatai is 18 years old. He can speak Samoan, but street fighting is about all he knows. His leg is permanently maimed from a gunshot wound. What kind of weapons do the gangs use? Your gang, for example. 38, 22, 357, 9, AK. It's pretty heavy sort of uh, artillery. Yeah. Carson is home to about 500 Samoan gang members. Did you catch this? 100%. Samoan. <laughs> Lift up your shirt, bro. <laughs> Lift up your shirt. Lift up your shirt. Show your tap. Look at that. Simone. Any so other questions about our race? <laughs> The streets of South LA look much the same as the streets of South Auckland, but the Samoan lifestyle here is a world apart from that of Otara or Apia. About 70,000 Samoans were lured here for the same reasons others went to New Zealand, a better education and a bigger future. Samoans who chose America over New Zealand have found a lethal difference. Guns and drugs. <laughs> and a land where racial tension means fighting it out in the streets. This is Scott Park. It looks tame enough, but in actual fact, it's the home turf to the Scott Park Killers, one of about a dozen Samoan gangs that have carved up South LA with other ethnic groups like Filipinos, blacks, Hispanics, and Tongans. And in this part of town, territory is a dead serious business. The blacks and the Hispanics, they get tired of getting beaten up by some more. Because that's all we know is fist fight. You know, and the only way they could uh, to, to retaliate on us is to get their guns. And here we are, we want fist fight, and they want to shoot us. So now it's at the tables have turned, and that we got handles to every, anything. You know, anything that's on the street, the AK, or, uh, an M16, or, uh, a grenade, or anything. Waikiki Simi is a reformed gang member. He's seen the contrast between American and New Zealand Samoans. One of the, the brothers, uh, one of the G's, that brought his cousin from New Zealand, he stayed with him for about a month. And the guy, you know, he was like shocked. Because everywhere he went, he was always dressing nice. You know, everything was looking nice on him. He said that the, the, the people in New Zealand, they never got into the... Uh, you know, dealing with Hispanics and Blacks, Puerto Ricans, you know. As with other gang members, Samoans say many of their people were drawn into the Los Angeles riots. It's about the cops not being fair, right? You know, it's just, you know, fair nowhere. I mean, there's good cops, but there's bad ones too. A week ago, gangs officially swore a truce in South LA, declaring the police the common enemy. We found little talk of peace here. Well, I won't hesitate to shoot anyone. You won't? No, I wouldn't hesitate to shoot anyone if they come and mess with me. So pervasive is the law of the gun that even those who try to avoid it can die by it. Like Italia Tuolalale and brother Afa, whose deaths triggered the trial of a local policeman for voluntary manslaughter. Italia stayed away from the gangs. He dreamt of football stardom. Statistically, some odds produce the world's highest percentage of football stars. Many have risen above the ghettos to excel in college and commerce. San Francisco 49er Jesse Sapolo tours schools, offering young Samoan sports stardom as an alternative to gang life. To me, as long as one kid, if I can make a difference in one kid's life, then it's worth coming. He's coming, 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 he's coming,
And then, you know, the kids, they have to have, they have to do something. Elders have found those families that lose their culture are most vulnerable. It's war would die in if we don't reach out our hands to help our young brothers all across the land. We have to teach them how to love and how to Well, right now, the future for the Samoan kids, they don't have a bright future because they're, they're following the rest. Hey, you got someone get blown away at 11 years old, 12 years old. For those Samoans who escape the ghetto, the American dream awaits. For those who don't, life on the streets can be tragic. That we all can live as one, live as one. We also grew up around a lot of Samoans. Um, Samoans, yeah. to me, when growing up, like I would go over to their house and they treat you like family, biggest smiles yep. in the world, love, all love, just all love, and, and you feel the good vibes in the air. But once you fool one of them, Oh, it's hard. <laughs> hey, I tell you, uh, I I moved out here from from uh, out of California to Vegas, and I tell you, man, I work at the Ghost by Casino, and shout out to all my uh, Samoans out there from Carson, not a Long Beach that I that didn't migrated out here with me. Yeah, I, that's why I say most people don't understand that Long Beach blend. We had a blend of Cambodians. We had a blend of different Asians. We have a blend of Filipinos. We had a blend of whites, blacks, Hispanics. We had a blend. Yeah, we. that's why we're a little different because we were able to blend with a lot of different cultures and get to understand a lot of different people. And in the end, we found out that we kind of the same and we kind of like girls with big booties too. <laughs> that's so true, man. So true. We should have one more question for you, and then we'll wrap it up, and I'll give you a chance to plug or, you know, promote anything you want. Most definitely. Um, I've always been curious. How did the 20s pick up the Steelers colors? Oh, man. It, uh, it's like it went back to that P hat. And, uh, it, it. It, it it's something that some like like the OGs put together. It's, I don't, I can't even tell you, man. But you know what? I'm glad yeah. they done it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to whoever thought that idea. But you know what? Now that you said it, I'm gonna have to do some investigative reporting myself and find out who did that. You feel me? Word Thank up. you for agitating Word my up. brain. I didn't know that. That's. Those are people don't realize, you know, knowing the history of your neighborhood that you come from is giving you a background in the gentleman who was there prior to you. None, none of them was perfect. None of us is perfect. But you know what? We all we all try our best and we live by the morals who we were taught by. And I'm, and I'm hoping we go back to a lot of those strong morals because that's lo what's wrong with society. We so moralists and we need to mm -hmm. get back to some of those morals. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk, man. Well, dude, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. This is one of my favorite um, chats I've had in a long time. You know, I always love just talking about my hometown, and you have good vibes. I love your, your outlook on life and things like that. I'd love to have you on in the near future, maybe in, you know, a couple months or something like that for for another round. You already know. It's a, uh, it's a blessing. I, like I said, I was thankful when I looked inside my inbox and you gave me the chance and opportunity to hop on here and speak my mind and, and uh, not only represent myself, but to represent the people who assisted at raising me, my family, my friends, all of Long Beach, all, all my mm -hmm. people out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Anything you want to promote or do you want to just, are you good? I'm a... Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, all my families and friends out there on the east side of Long Beach out there. Keep doing what y'all doing. My mom's Melinda. Uh, I wonder if y'all get a chance and opportunity. You know, uh, Trayvon Cash on um, Facebook and Trayvon Cash on Instagram. Y'all can check out my music there. You know, I'm blowing up slowly but surely. I'm earning my stripes like I'm supposed to. You feel me? And I'm talking <laughs> about that real stuff, that real life stuff. The stuff I like to say, the stuff you don't get paid to talk about, but the stuff we're supposed to be talking about. You feel me? I, I agree, my man. Well, I'll talk to you soon. You stay healthy. Hope your family stays healthy through this whole coronavirus thing, and I'll be uh, chatting with you soon, all right? All the time. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Your health is your wealth. Yes, sir. Peace, man. Talk to you later. Take it easy. Later. <laughs>